we're live and I am um, recording. Fantastic. Well, good evening. Uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, here at the Loyola Marymount University booth at the Nats National Catholic College Admission Association Fair. Uh, my name is Tom Gudo, and I'm the Assistant Vice Provost for Undergraduate Enrollment. And it's my honor to be joined today by our Senior Director of Undergraduate Admission, Radia Alawash. Radia will be monitoring the chat and um, making sure that uh, all your questions are answered. Um, and my plan today really is to go through a, a presentation, an overview of the university uh, for about 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, but to leave plenty of time to, to answer your most pressing questions and concerns. Also, um, a little caveat, we're human and uh, we're learning the system as we go. So uh, I'm gonna attempt to share my screen now and go through this presentation, but bear with us if we have any technical difficulties. Okay, hopefully uh, you can all uh, see my screen here. Uh, this is one of my favorite shots of the university. Uh, we're located in Los Angeles, California. Um, and as you go about researching and looking at and investigating all the different opportunities afforded to you uh, through this process, um, I think it's important to, to try to get an understanding of what the experience is gonna be like uh, at each of these schools. Uh, no doubt, uh, the thousands of schools across the country and the many more internationally are each gonna provide a unique and different experience. Um, and that's certainly true on our beautiful campus here in Los Angeles. And so what differentiates LMU from any other school in the whole wide world is that we're the only Jesuit mid-sized university in the Southwestern United States. Over the course of this presentation, I'm gonna talk through what each of those different components means and how they play out in the experience here at the university. Um, but uh, we're really proud of our Jesuit Catholic roots. Uh, the Jesuit uh, philosophy of educating men and women with and for others uh, pervades uh, every aspect of the experience at the university. Uh, and the Jesuits uh, are, are good at education. Uh, we have been on a mission of education for nearly 500 years. Um, and so uh, when you attend a Jesuit institution, um, you can really expect to be challenged, challenged outside your comfort zone um, to really grow as a, as a whole person. Uh, we're one of 27 Jesuit universities uh, across the country. Um, and again, we're the only one located here in Southern California. Um, so, apologize here. Um, I kind of went through uh, the, kind of what it means to be a Jesuit institution um, and kind of the, the, the breadth of the Jesuit network across the United States. Uh, but Jesuit education and Jesuit tradition stretches around the world. Um, we're, we're proud of, of that heritage. Um, and we really believe that our Jesuit educational model sets us apart from other universities, maybe even other Catholic universities. Everything that we do at the university is centered around our mission. Um, and our mission here at LMU is threefold. The encouragement of learning, the education of the whole person, and the service of faith and promotion of justice. And on their face, it might seem pretty obvious. Uh, of course, uh, universities should encourage learning. They should educate the whole person. Um, and you know we should promote justice of some sort. But uh, as a Jesuit institution, these play out in, in slightly different ways. Um, the encouragement of learning, for example, uh, plays out not just in uh, the courses that you take. Those are important. You can't get a college degree unless you, you pass your classes and, and you take the right number of courses. But what we found are the students at LMU that really succeed and enjoy their LMU experience are students that have a natural curiosity to learn. Um, so our encouragement of learning goes beyond just uh, the classroom. Uh, our encouragement of learning really goes to a love of learning and a lifelong learning. Um, and so if you're a student who um, really enjoys the learning process uh, for learning's sake, um, LMU might be a place that uh, you wanna consider. Um, the other way that we kind of get at encouragement of learning is through our small class sizes. You know, I mentioned that LMU is a mid-sized university. And so we've got about 6,600 
undergraduate students, which means um, we've got a lot of the benefits of large institutions. You know, we've got NCAA Division I athletics. We've got world-class faculty. Uh, we've got national and international recognition. Uh, we've become members of the prestigious Phi Beta Kappa Honor Society. Um, there's a lot of things that we do that are, that are, that are uh, equitable to large institutions. Uh, but we also have a lot of the uh, familiarity and the community aspects of a smaller institution. With an average class size of 19 students per class and a student to faculty ratio of 10 to one, uh, you can't hide at LMU. Um, we believe that encourages learning because uh, you're not just a number. Our faculty, which uh, teach each and every one of our classes, gets to know our students. And through that um, process, they can encourage our students to go beyond their comfort zone. We know that learning happens in those uncomfortable areas outside uh, of what we're used to, and that's certainly the case here at LMU. This is critical. Uh, upon graduating from the university, um, you have to fall back upon that skill set to uh, be able to manage and navigate uncertain times. Uh, there's no better example than these uncertain times that we're currently going through. Uh, we believe it's in times like this that, that Jesuit education is the most impactful in that uh, that skill set of being able to think critically and, and navigate the challenges uh, really, really comes in handy beyond whatever you would learn in your classes. Secondly, the education of the whole person is really about uh, a whole world outside the classroom. Uh, we know that when you think about the college experience, um, it's holistic. It's, it's the classes. Yes, those are critical, but it's also what does life outside the classroom look like? Um, I have a slide I'm going to present in a couple minutes here that's going to kind of go through some of those things. Uh, but suffice it to say that it's critical as part of the LMU experience that we provide a robust experience outside the classroom because we believe that that education outside the classroom is just as important as the education inside the classroom. Finally, the service of faith and promotion of justice. It appears like it's two different thoughts, but it's actually uh, one cohesive uh, framework. Um, and that is the fact that it gets at the notion that um, regardless of background, we are a Catholic institution. Uh, we are proud of our Catholic teaching and tradition. Um, and uh, we really appreciate the uh, openness and, and invitation to, to study uh, from people of all different faith backgrounds. But this goes really beyond faith. This goes to uh, kind of the, the, the natural moral code that we are all born with. And it's really our belief that we are called to um, not just uh, appreciate our own moral code, but to do something with it, uh, to go out and to promote justice. And so we believe that these two ideas, faith and justice, are intertwined and that it's our challenge, it's our duty really uh, to go out uh, to be uh, sources of light in the world. Um, and uh, we can certainly do that through a variety of different, different ways. So um, everything we do at the university is focused around this LMU mission. Um, and uh, it's what differentiates LMU from any other institution in the whole wide world. So a little bit about our academic structure, because I think as a, as a high school student, uh, it might be hard to wrap your mind around, you know, what is college going to be like? Um, and it certainly isn't an eight to three Monday through Friday proposition. Uh, when you get to college, uh, actually, one of the, the, the biggest stresses for our, our new students is, is time management, because um, courses happen at all different times of the day and all different times during the week. And, and you really have to be good at managing your time. Um, you'll also take courses in different subject areas. Uh, so you'll see on the screen here that uh, every student at LMU will take part in what we call the core curriculum. This is a series of themes, really, uh, across your four years that our students will, will, will take classes in. Um, please note that these aren't specific classes, that these are categories. Um, and so for that reason, uh, students will have tremendous uh, choice in how they fulfill the core curriculum requirements at LMU. Um, so no two students will ever have the same core curriculum, uh, but they'll have one that they're able to adapt to their interests, their needs, um, and their perspective. Of course, you'll also take uh, courses within your major. Um, you can't graduate with LMU without selecting a program of study. Um, and that may be one of the hardest uh, choices that you have to make beyond what schools am I going to apply to? What am I going to study? 
At LMU, we've got five colleges and schools that you can apply to, the Bellarmine College of Liberal Arts, the College of Business Administration, the College of Communication and Fine Arts, the School of Film and Television, and the Seaver College of Science and Engineering. This is a direct entry program, so you apply directly to the major that you're interested in. Um, and so, um, and you also start taking those major courses uh, from your first year. Uh, many institutions, you don't actually get into your major work until maybe you're an upperclassman. That's not the case. Our core curriculum and our major courses are intertwined throughout your four years. It's one of the reasons why we're proud to boast a really successful four-year graduation rate. Everyone that starts at the university as a first-year student has a pathway to graduate in four years. If you take the right courses and you pass those courses, you will graduate in four years, oftentimes with a second major or an additional minor. I want to spend a little bit of time talking about the student experience. I referenced it a little bit earlier, um, and there is, a, for lack of a better term, just a lot of, of, of things to do at LMU. Um, beyond the time management skills that, that sometimes students struggle when they're new, it's, it's choosing what to get involved in. Um, with over 200 different clubs and organizations, um, it seems overwhelming, but trust when I say that you will find your way. Uh, you have a lot of opportunity to join club sports, or ethnic and intercultural clubs, um, or clubs that focus on different causes, whether it's the environment or whether it's uh, world issues. Um, there's a club for everyone. And if there's not a club that uh, you want to be a part of, you can start one. We encourage our students to start clubs, which is why every year that number keeps growing. Uh, we've got 19 resident halls and apartment buildings. So we're a residential campus. Um, all first year and sophomores are guaranteed on-campus housing, um, and many more will elect to live on campus in their junior and senior years. Uh, residence life is robust, um, and our residence halls um, are on par with, with residence halls and facilities across the nation. Uh, we've got nine on-campus dining locations, um, which uh, serve a wide variety of, of student needs, um, from dietary restrictions to healthy eating, um, all I can say is that our, our, our offerings have evolved tremendously um, in recent years in terms of the variety, the breadth, and the depth of the different uh, dining opportunities. I mentioned earlier, too, we're, we're an NCAA Division I uh, institution. If you're interested in participating in NCAA Division I sports, um, you should contact our athletic office directly to discuss what that process looks like. Otherwise, the vast majority of our students are going to enjoy the benefit of watching our NCAA Division I teams compete at the national level. Um, it's, a, it's a part of the LMU experience. It's a part of life on campus. And we're really, really proud of our Lions and the work that they do. Uh, we've got over 5,300 on-campus employment positions, which is critical. Um, speaking just for the admission office, uh, we employ hundreds of students in our office alone, um, and there's uh, obviously 5,300 more employed across the university. This is an important component to your educational experience, and many students are awarded work study as part of their financial aid package. Uh, we feel it's an exceptional way to plug into the university um, and to really get connected to um, the bluff, like we like to call LMU. We've got over 1,500 vetted internship opportunities. Uh, we have an amazing uh, state-of-the-art uh, career and professional development office uh, that works with our students to ensure that they have that work experience prior to graduation. Many and most of our students will have at least one internship before they graduate. Many will have multiple internships before they graduate, oftentimes leading to full-time employment post-graduation. Our students log over 200,000 annual community service hours, and that isn't something that we require. And so um, just as students uh, who enroll at LMU have a curiosity to learn, they also have a natural desire to give back. And so those 200,000 hour plus of community service hours that they log is all because they want to give back. Our students want to be a part of the world. They want to give back. They want to help those that um, are less fortunate or in need of the help. And as beautiful as our campus is, um, we really encourage our students to participate in one of our over 80 different study abroad experiences. Whether you're looking at um, a, a spring break experience or whether you're looking at a summer experience or a semester or a year, we've got a study abroad experience for you. Regardless of major, 
um, regardless of background, you have an opportunity to study uh, at various locations all around the world. And it's important in terms of that education of the whole person to see life in the world through a different lens. And so we encourage all of our students to try to get off the bluff and study abroad in a program that meets their needs. We also want to make sure that LMU is a place that everyone feels supportive. And so we have a wide range of uh, support services uh, from the Academic Resource Center, which offers free tutoring and advising, as well as a robust first generation support system called the First to Go Community, to ethnic and intercultural services, um, disability support services, and student psychological services. Uh, because we value the uniqueness of every human being and every student at the university, um, we've also backed that up with resources to ensure that uh, your unique challenges, your unique circumstances um, are not a barrier to you graduating uh, on time. Um, I love this picture. This kind of uh, nicely illustrates exactly where LMU is located, about 10 Los Angeles International Airport, about a mile and a half from the Pacific Ocean. Um, LMU is situated in a, in a quiet, safe residential neighborhood up on a beautiful bluff overlooking the greater Los Angeles area. Uh, what's great is that while our students feel safe and are able to focus on their studies while they're on campus, they still have access to everything that the great city of Los Angeles has to offer. Um, which is a tremendous benefit for our students. Los Angeles, the creative capital of the world, the most diverse city in the world, um, has so much to offer. And it really is an extension of our campus. And so what a great um, learning laboratory uh, to have at your front door, uh, but the city of Los Angeles with, with all of its great opportunities there. So very close to the university, just actually right down the bluff from where we're situated, is a burgeoning uh, tech and startup hub that they're calling Silicon Beach. Uh, Silicon Beach is kind of like Southern California's version of Silicon Valley. And so it provides and affords our students tremendous opportunities for internships and then full-time employment upon graduation. Uh, we truly are blessed to be uh, located and situated on the west side of Los Angeles, exactly where we are. Um, I alluded to and mentioned our, our robust uh, career and professional development office, and um, really I like to focus on the development piece of, of that title. Um, you don't just graduate from college and get a job. Um, maybe in the olden days that's what happened, but here uh, we, we really cultivate our students. Career professional development develops students over the course of four years through a variety of different opportunities. We like to take our students and our young lions off the bluff, and so we go on uh, site visits or career treks to various locales around the country and the world. Uh, we've taken students to Beijing, to New York, to Seattle, to San Francisco, and many, many other places so that they can meet uh, LMU alumni in those locations and career professionals uh, to really learn what does it take uh, at that next level beyond my LMU education and to show them proof um, that this is waiting for them just after they graduate. Uh, we've got retreats, internship funding, soft skills workshop. There's a lot that goes into preparing you for your career beyond the all-important academic experience. And so I want to make that very, very clear. The academics is critical because it teaches you how to think. Uh, but a lot of these services that career professional development provides for our students allow you to secure that job uh, in a way that we believe benefits our students over applicants from other universities. This is a, a slide uh, that just kind of uh, very briefly kind of gives you an overview of the types of companies that our students are interning at and working at full time post graduation. Uh, what I like to point out here is you've got a wide range of different companies. Um, and our Office of Career and Professional Development works directly with you, each unique student, to find that pathway to a career um, that meets your needs. And so whether you want to be a teacher or you want to be an engineer or you want to work in the entertainment industry, just to name a few, um, our Office of Career and Professional Development probably already has connections with many of those companies in those areas um, and will help you along the way to ensure that you secure that career, that job post-graduation. The data is in and it shows that we've been successful at this. 97% of our graduates uh, have a positive outcome within six months of graduation. That's either employment in a career uh, of their choice or uh, uh, admission to graduate school. 
um, oftentimes families will think about what is the value of uh, a college education? Um, and uh, beyond learning for learning's sake, because that's important too, uh, many families are interested in, well, when am I going to get a job? Well, the data tells us that, yes, LMU graduates do get a job. Um, and that uh, experience at the university pays off beyond just that employment post-graduation. It pays off over the course of your lifetime. Um, a little bit about the application deadlines, and then I want to get to your questions. Um, so LMU um, participates in three different uh, application uh, formats. You can submit the Common App, the Coalition App, or LMU's own online application. We don't have a preference for which one of these uh, you utilize and use. Uh, my recommendation is always use the one that works best for you, okay? If you're already applying to a bunch of Common App schools, then submit the Common Application. Um, the same goes for the Coalition or the LMU online app. Use the application that creates the least amount of stress for you, please. Um, we don't have to make life so difficult all the time. Um, you can also see some, some important deadlines here. Um, October 1, the FAFSA is open. So um, all of you, we recommend that every single student submit that FAFSA. Whether you think you qualify or not, just submit it, you'd be surprised. So start working on the FAFSA stuff. November 1 is our early deadline. We've got two options uh, to apply for on November 1st, early decision and early action. Early decision is our binding option. Uh, when you apply early decision, you're telling the university, if I'm admitted, I'm enrolling. Um, if you're not sure whether LMU is, is the place you're going to end up, um, but you want to know your decision earlier, um, then by all means, apply early action. Um, both of those deadlines, like I said, are November 1st, um, and you'll have a decision before the holidays. Um, January 15th is our regular decision deadline. Um, and so if you don't apply early, um, you should get all of your materials in by January 15th. Um, you might be asking, well, why would I apply January 15th? If you're a student whose GPA and, and your academics are steadily improving, if you want to make sure that the admission office uh, fully reviews uh, all of your grades through your first term in your senior year, um, then January 15th might be a good option for you. Um, our helpful and understanding admission counselors are, would be happy to discuss further your own unique circumstances if you're having trouble deciding, uh, do I apply early or do I, do I apply regular? Another thing to note about our application this year is that LMU is test optional for the first time in, in our known history. Um, and so when we say test optional, uh, we truly mean that, optional. If you feel like, uh, your test scores will support your academic record, then submit them. If uh, you weren't able to take a standardized test uh, because of all the cancellations, or if you took the standardized test and uh, you're not really happy with your score, um, then you don't have to worry about submitting it. Um, when we say test optional, we truly mean optional. Um, and so uh, we're also happy to, to discuss with you uh, your decision on whether to submit your test score or not. Finally, um, I want to point your attention. I've got my contact information here. Our undergraduate admission contact information is here as well. But we've got a robust Experience LMU visit opportunity. It's replaced our traditional in-person open house uh, where we used to hold on one day in October um, an opportunity to come to our beautiful campus and learn all about the university. Um, we've created, like I said, a robust um, virtual engagement opportunity that allows you to connect with our deans, to learn uh, through our faculty, through our Spotlight Seminar Series, um, and to uh, participate in a bunch of other events like alumni and parent panel um, or uh, traditional admission sessions. Um, there are just a lot of opportunities to get to know the university um, in a lot of different ways. And so I would encourage you to go to our, our website um, and check out that Experience LMU uh, opportunity. And so without further ado, um, I'm gonna open it up now to, uh, to the questions. Roddy, do we have some questions that we're ready to, to answer here? You're muted. I can't hear Thank you. Thank you, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. uh, we have a question from Real One Akinola. And her question is, um, 
uh, her or his question is, I, want, I, I wonder how LMU accommodates people from different religious backgrounds. And can you give a little overview of your political science department? Wow. Well, you know, we could do a whole presentation on both of those questions. Um, and so thank you for thank you for those questions. So first of all, um, when we say that we uh, really strive to enroll a diversity of diversities at the university, um, we mean that in every sense of the word. So not only uh, different uh, cultural and ethnic diversities, but also a diversity of geography, a diversity of major, and of course, a diversity of religious background. Well, about half of our students um, tell us that you know they are from a catholic background um, we are rich in students that come from all different other backgrounds um, and uh, we believe that makes lmu a better place uh, through our office of ethnic and intercultural services we're often able to uh, make sure that students from different uh, backgrounds uh, whether that's jewish students or muslim students or, or other religious traditions uh, find a home at lmu and really feel a part of uh, our lion family. Um, political science is uh, one of the a more popular major at the university. Um, I personally believe that political science is a good foundation for a lot of different careers, um, and it just tends to be interesting. Uh, we've got world-class faculty that you often find on uh, the different local news outlets or national news outlets and are tremendously accomplished. Um, we're very engaged here in, in local politics here in Los Angeles um, and uh, would really provide for you a wonderful opportunity uh, to learn uh, the craft of political science, but also to learn from some of the change makers in the political science uh, arena. So another question is um, about how does one go about uh, finding internships? Are there you know lots of options uh, depending on the major? Yeah, you know I, I think um, you know one of the things I, I spent some time on in the presentation is really our our, our amazing Office of Career and Professional Development. Um, they uh, do amazing work in, in doing the footwork for many of our students. Um, so career professional development is, is uh, on a daily basis um, garnering um, relationships with uh, different companies, uh, both locally, nationally, and internationally, to ensure that our students have opportunities to intern prior to graduation. As I mentioned, we have over 1,500 vetted internships and that number keeps growing on a daily basis as the relationship between LMU and the different companies continues to grow. And so career professional development helps facilitate uh, those internships um, and of course oftentimes students will, will make connections on their own as well. And so um, leaning on and trusting in the Lion community and our Office of Career Professional Developments, our students will have career experiences prior to graduation. Uh, it's one of the reasons why our students are so successful in finding uh, full-time employment post-graduation. Thank you for that question. Here's a, a, a question that's a, a little bit fun. Um, what are your biggest social event on campus and, and what is your favorite tradition? Well, um, you know, uh, <laughs> we, we've got a number of different social events and, and I can't wait to get back to campus to, to experience these again. Um, we're, we're really looking forward to that. Uh, we've got a couple of different concerts, uh, big concerts uh, every year, one in the fall and one in the spring where we bring in um, a, a popular performer and they perform in our, in our beautiful sunken garden. Um, that's put on by our associated students of Loyola Marymount University, which is our uh, student body. Uh, they uh, uh, kind of ensure that we have, you know, something different and diverse and, and, and talented at each one of those events. Um, tradition, uh, one of the, the, the tradition we, we quote often is, is that we've got a, a beautiful pond in front of our theater building uh, called Foley Pond. And one of the traditions is uh, to get uh, dunked in that pond on, on your birthday. And so um, every lion before they graduate will, will experience uh, the cold waters of Foley Pond uh, at least once before they graduate. So thank you for that question. The more questions about biology and pre-med track. Well, um, you know that the national average to get into medical school is below 50%. 
um, LMU's average uh, is above the national average and hovers right about 50% or maybe a little above 50%. And we really believe that we're able to outpace the national average for acceptance to medical school because of the opportunities at uh, LMU to work with our pre-professional programs. Um, so um, all of our pre-professional programs, including pre-med, um, will uh, capitalize on additional resources. So it's not a major, uh, you'll have a regular major like biology, and then you'll have a pre-professional advisor. Uh, in this case, in the, with this example, you'll have a pre-med advisor who's gonna help make sure that um, all of the things you need to get in medical school outside of the classroom, preparing for MCATs, uh, getting internships, are all a part of your LMU experience to give you the best chance of admission into medical school. You'll also work in tandem with our Office of Career and Professional Development. And so you've got a, a, a support group around you to ensure that uh, you are in the best position to succeed in the career of your choice, whether it's pre-law, pre-med, um, any of other pre-professional programs. Uh, there's a whole host of resources and people here to ensure that uh, you are successful. We have another question about communications and marketing. Some schools, those are the same thing. Uh, at LMU, we're lucky enough to house those actually in two completely different colleges. Um, so marketing is in our College of Business Administration. Um, communication studies is in our uh, College of Communication and Fine Arts. Um, and uh, I would say that the, the primary difference between the two at LMU, and, and this is a distinction I think is important as you're searching around the country at, at the different options, make sure you really understand what the majors are at that particular school. Um, communication studies, for example, at LMU is a very broad-based theoretical approach to communication. Um, we have a, a journalism program if you're interested in pursuing journalism, but at some schools, you would study communication studies if you wanted to go into journalism. And whilst many of our communication studies students do go into journalism, um, I think it's important to, to understand the distinction there. Uh, marketing is really focused more on the business aspects of of, of the marketing experience. And, and we are really proud of our nationally ranked marketing program, uh, which has set up separate pathways um, within the marketing program uh, to attract students and to, again, garner more connection to uh, the business community. And so uh, whether you think you wanna go more theoretical, more broad-based communication strategy, or you feel like you wanna hone in more on a traditional business marketing perspective, um, there is a major for, for everyone. And again, we'll be happy to discuss when we have more time, more thoroughly, uh, the differences and the pros and cons of each of those based on your particular situation. Uh, we have a question about uh, wanting to know more about scholarship opportunities at LMU. Thank you for that question. So you, I mentioned in the presentation that uh, we're test optional, uh, and that means that we're also test optional um, with our scholarship opportunities. Um, so we offer a wide range of scholarships, uh, ranging in all different dollar amounts, from a couple thousand dollars uh, through pretty considerable uh, amounts, you know, nearly uh, full compensation, and literally everything in between. There's a lot of consideration that goes into these scholarships. Um, there's a lot of factors that go into it. And so I would encourage you to not only continue to do well in your studies, but to tell your story through the application, the essay, the letters of recommendation, um, what you submit to the university, which you have complete control over, is going to determine uh, how we evaluate you in comparison to the rest of the applicant pool. It's important to note that we can't rest on last year's uh, successes, that Every applicant pool is different, um, and uh, we're going to be looking at this particular applicant pool and looking for all the uniqueness and the greatness that you bring to the university uh, as we try to determine uh, the various different scholarship amounts. Um, there's a question. What are some ways out-of-state students can get acclimated to Loyola Marymount and the community? Well, what... Thank you for that question. Um, you know, what we've seen, uh, we've seen a trend over the last few years of more and more out of state and international students enrolling at the university. I think that's really for a few reasons. Um, one, I just think that LMU is becoming more and more uh, well known, uh, both nationally and, and internationally, and our programs are getting a lot of recognition. I also think LA is a draw. Um, and if you're looking for small class sizes, you're looking for a Jesuit Catholic um, educational experience, um, 
then there's only really one choice. Um, and so um, when we talk about the bluff and we talk about being on campus, we talk about the Lion family. And so first and foremost, people matter. Uh, what you'll find when you come to our campus is that there's a genuine care we call it the, at LMU cura personalis, literally translated from Latin means care of the person. And we take that perspective in everything that we do. We literally care about every single person. Um, and that perspective pervades the entire campus. Uh, we are a caring place. And that means that we're understanding uh, of people that come from uh, various different backgrounds, including geographically. Um, we understand and realize that it could be hard uh, to uh, to come all the way across the country or to come from, from out of the state of California or to come from around the world uh, to Los Angeles. Uh, but what we've heard from students and what we try to uh, live out in our daily mission is this warm embrace and accepting of people and a, and a real celebration, honestly, of the differences and the, the, the uniqueness that that brings and affords us with regard to our own understanding and perspective of the world. And so out-of-state students are, are, are embraced. Uh, we've got a number of resources. I, I, I ran through a little bit earlier in the, in the, in the presentation um, that help students acclimate to the university. We've got a robust orientation program that gets you connected to students from all over the world. And I think just that sheer understanding of the fact that you're not alone helps many students with that transition from uh, high school to college, uh, which um, under the best of circumstances is a transition. Um, and so let's not fool ourselves and pretend like it's no big deal. This is a big deal. And I think one of the values of an LMU education and an LMU experience is that um, there are a lot of people and resources there to help you with that transition, uh, not just initially, but over the course of those four years that you're gonna be studying here on the bluff. Uh, do students graduate in four years? Yes, um, <laughs> uh, we are really, really proud of our graduation rate. Um, every student that starts at the university as a first year student is on a four year path. Um, there's a four year model plan for every single major. Um, and so uh, while some institutions um, here in California and elsewhere might be impacted, meaning they're going to enroll students that they can't provide enough courses for, um, every student that enrolls at LMU will have that four-year plan and will have courses available to ensure that they're making progress to their degree each and every semester. And so, yes, students graduate from LMU in four years um, as long as they pass their classes and take the right number of classes. Um, sometimes students um, decide rather late that they want to change their major or they want to add a double major, and um, sometimes that might take extra time. Um, but it's to no fault of the university, and every student owns their academic journey. Um, and so some of our students choose uh, to be in college a little bit longer. But uh, if you want to graduate in four years, the answer is you will graduate in four years. What are some of your most popular majors? Well, um, our School of Film and Television is our most popular college. Uh, and we measure that based on um, really the, the number of applications versus the number of available seats in the first year class. Um, so when I say popular, it doesn't mean we get the most applications for those particular programs, but um, it's one of the most competitive. Um, it's for obvious reasons, our location, our national ranking, uh, the quality of the programs, the tremendous faculty, um, film and television, particularly production is our most competitive. Other popular programs are College of Business in its entirety, um, whether it's um, marketing or management or accounting or, or a number of our other majors within finance uh, within the College of Business Administration are, are tremendously popular. And business actually offers an, an opportunity to come in to the university undecided. We have a, an undecided business choice as an entering first-time freshman. Um, then you can't graduate uh, with an undecided major, but you can start off that way and by the end of your freshman year, um, by working with your advisors and your counselors, uh, you will have selected a major within the College of Business to maintain that four-year graduation rate. Outside of business, um, communication studies is a very popular program. Theater arts is a very popular program and growing. Uh, psychology is a, is a very popular program. Um, political science, international relations. Um, environment and the environmental studies major within uh, liberal arts is, is very, very popular, as well as our 
uh, engineering and science programs. And so uh, really what I'm most proud of, or one of the things I'm most proud of at the university is that um, you can tell we've got a very broad curriculum. Um, LMU is not just a business school or a liberal arts school or a, or a STEM school. Um, the beauty of LMU is that uh, we've got a major for everybody. Um, and that really is, is, is an interesting and fun experience as a student at the university, also as an admission professional like myself. Is it easy to take classes not related to your major out of, <laughs> out of curiosity? Um, yeah, uh, it, it's not easy. It's required. Um, so um, we're going to encourage you, uh, to, again, beyond your comfort zone, uh, to take courses that um, maybe you didn't think about taking. Um, our core curriculum alone is going to force you to take courses within, like I said, those 12 or 13 different categories um, to uh, ensure that you are developed holistically and have a holistic understanding of the world about us. Um, I mentioned core, I mentioned major courses. There also is an opportunity to take elective courses during over the course of your four years as well. And so uh, through careful work with an advisor, um, we certainly encourage our students to experiment. Um, I mentioned that our students that succeed at LMU have a natural curiosity to learn. Um, and we like to ensure that we um, promote that through allowing our students to take a variety of different courses. And Tom, I think, uh can you elaborate or add about change uh, about uh, double majoring and minoring? Yeah, sure. Um, gosh, I think over the last ten or so years, I, I, I seem to get this question more and more and more, and it's only getting more and more more and more popular. Um, so students can certainly double major. They can double major. They can minor. There's a lot of different ways to add on to your primary uh, program of study at Loyola Marymount University. Um, it's one of the reasons why you've got to work really carefully with your advisor because you've got to piece all those different requirements together. And students that identify double majors and minors earlier on in their LMU experience um, are going to uh, have an easier time maintaining that four-year graduation timeline, um, particularly if those additional majors or those minors are outside your primary college of study. Uh, so, for example, if you are um, a liberal arts major and you want to double major in business, uh, obviously, you know, uh, different college is going to have different requirements to fulfill their majors. Um, and so it takes collaboration. But like I said, we're a school that prides itself on the personal interaction. And you have advisors who are going to personalize this experience and ensure that um, your needs are met and that you have a pathway to graduate, hopefully within those four years. Tom, we have a great question here about the food, what it's like at LMU, and do you know if, if uh, we can talk about uh, kosher, halal options? Um, that's the question. Yeah, you know, um, I, I would I would definitely go to our website, lmu.edu, and, and look up all the different dining options. We're, we're extremely proud of it. I, I, won't, I probably won't do it justice in my answer here, but uh, suffice it to say that we've got uh, food options for um, – every different background. Um, so we've got uh, kosher options, we've got Hillel options, we've got, we've got uh, options for food that meet you know, every single dietary restriction uh, that we know about. Um, and because we've got um, a robust dining service, uh, oftentimes we can make uh, food on demand. Um, and so um, I wouldn't worry about uh, your ability to find good food that uh, is gonna meet your, your um, your perspectives and, and your requirements um, here at Loyola Marymount University. We worked really hard to ensure that our students on campus um, have uh, everything they need to ensure that they have the nutrition and the health through through our di different dining services. That pretty much wraps up the questions that the students are asking. So this wraps up our, our presentation. Okay, fantastic. Well. Um, I guess in closing, I just want to say good luck. Um, and uh, we look forward to hopefully reviewing your application and, and maybe welcoming you to the bluff soon. So good luck with everything. Stay safe. And it was uh, an honor to be with you guys today. Thank you.